Hi again guys, I'm going to be doing a review, um, this is a review for Marvel Omnibus Fantastic Four Volume 1 and for Marvel Omnibus Avengers Volume 1. Um, we'll start with Avengers. This book is pretty thick. Uh, it has collecting Avengers number 1 through 30. Uh, if I put that in here, so you get all the covers and just some random paging. It's very cool. If you guys want to give you a whole look at the book in and out, that way you get an idea. I know I couldn't find a really decent review on these before I picked them up. Uh, I got quite a few of the omnibuses now. I'm going to try to do them uh, two at a time. So that one is the Avengers Marvel Omnibus Volume 1. Volume 2 as of yet is not out yet. Here we have Fantastic Four. It's much bigger. And this one collects Fantastic Four, number 130, uh, and annual number one. This printing was limited to 1,500 copies, but they're soon to re-release this, so volume one and two should be released again. Volume two is pretty scarce. Uh, well, I'll give you a look at it. This is without the dust jacket. And have here. This is pretty good. Uh, I read this, really loved it. Just has a lot of cheesy uh, superhero slash sci fi type stories. It's heavy as hell, though. And give you an idea of the back. The back looks like. So, I really like these omnibuses. I, they're great quality. I love um, just um, everything about them. They're pretty cool. The only thing is they're a bit heavy, so while you're reading them, I mean, if you're holding them up with one arm, basically lifting weights at the same time, because these things are big. I'm going to put them side by side so you get an idea. Well, yeah, what they look like. The Fantastic Four is a lot bigger. Um, they're good books. I highly recommend them. Uh, I'll try to do more reviews. Hope you guys like them. Uh, if you do like my reviews, please leave a comment. Um, thanks again.